A Patrick County mother and son are facing charges tonight after a severe case of animal abuse. 89 year old Caroline LaProd and her son, 54 year old Charles LaProd, were both arrested and each charged with 14 counts of cruelty to animals after an ongoing investigation. Now, as WSLS 10's Allison Wickline explains, a local shelter is stepping up to save the dogs taken in the case. And we do want to warn you, you may find some of these images disturbing. The Patrick County Sheriff is calling it an extreme case of animal abuse. 58 dogs found in, quote, deplorable conditions at a residence in Patrick Springs Wednesday. An 89-year-old woman and her 54-year-old son are facing multiple animal cruelty charges. The dogs are now in the care of Angels of Assisi. They've all got pretty severe skin infections, eye infections. Um, some of them are pretty under-socialized. So we're getting further into that and we'll know more in the next couple days what we're dealing with. Angels of Assisi rescued the dogs, mostly terrier mixes, after receiving an urgent call from the Humane Society of the United States. Now the real work begins. If you put your hand down, you can see how, feel the, all the ribs and see how skinny. It's all hands on deck for the dogs, extra staff, volunteers, and donors. It's a tremendous amount of work on the paperwork side, on the health side, and there's two sides of health. There's their physical health. We also have to address their mental health because a lot of them are under socialized. A lot of them are terrified. O'Neill says the shelter has to treat each dog on a case by case basis. That's why the volunteers and extra staff are so important to get the job done. We see a lot of heartache and we see a lot of terrible, terrible things that happen to animals, but we're the lucky ones because we get to see all the good side and people that comes out. And it turns out good people can do good deeds from halfway across the world. Tammy Brightwell is donating supplies for the rescued dogs after a request from her daughter Holly, who saw the story and devastating pictures online. She's all the way in Afghanistan working as air traffic controller at Kandahar Airfield. And for her to think to take care of the animals in Roanoke is wonderful. Good deeds in a great time of need as Angels of Assisi works hard to save 58 innocent souls. In Roanoke, Allison Wickline, WSLS 10.